Hello and blessed Odin's Day. How is everyone? Um, Jess here with part two of my nine transmission video about breaking cycles. Um, so I just wanted to get into this quick. Yes, I'm in a cemetery. This is my sacred space, um, my ancestral ground that I come to meditate, find answers, peace, healing, and connect um, because I actually do a lot of ancestral work. Um, but on to this message, part two of the transmission video about breaking cycles. I wanted to kind of specify a little bit more about that and about how that there's different levels of these cycles or situations that people may go through. And uh, I want to compare this very similar to the tree of life and the connection of that. Um, I want to connect to... <clears throat> almost the aspect of the roots. So a younger root goes through a different situation than an older root. So older roots, you know, their journey eventually they die out and the younger roots take hold. So this is something that is very prominent right now with the ancestral karmic breaking that needs to happen. Um, so I've noticed um, with that, a lot of it is almost the younger the younger of that family line. So to go with what I'm saying with the older roots, we'll start with that. So <clears throat> the cycles that have been breaking, very ancestral, very connected. So younger generations, I'm noticing they're more learning their lessons at this time. So we're going to compare it like that. So younger generations are learning their lessons. The, the next generation like myself and people like my age around in their 30s um, are breaking cycles. They're breaking the cycles from the lessons that we have learned when we were younger, the, like the younger ones are learning now. And then the older generation are either solidifying in the unbroken cycles, they are <clears throat> realizing that they have broke cycles and they're almost living in a, in a form of peace and, and maybe learning to break new cycles or lessons at a different 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 time in their life you know um or maybe realizing that some lessons weren't fully fully learned and they need to relearn them um before it solidifies so kind of what the message i'm going to entail here is the connection of that ancestral karmic breakage that needs to happen. So it's not just happening within. So when I'm breaking this karma, I'm seeing it reverberate within my ancestral line, whether it's to my daughter or to my mother, or if to my brother or to my uncle, it's, it's, it's reverting. Okay. So, so I'm noticing it kind of, you know, even, even if it's just you in that immediate family breaking that line, you're you're the one that say the youngest one um breaking because i've noticed it's been a lot of the younger child within the immediate family so like right now i'm on the ancestral ground on my my father's side though so the fraternal side so i know what's breaking on that side but i also know what's breaking on my maternal side it's it's all connected it doesn't matter which side is breaking by you being connected to both sides you're breaking a little bit on each side okay so now you also have to take in consideration if you notice my last video i brought up family members, you're going to notice them waking up or stuff like that. So <clears throat> what's really been happening a lot more now, and I think that we should be conscious of it to try and move it in our favor, to try and help, you know, the shock wave that's happening within our lineage, um, is to kind of be aware of that and be aware of where you're breaking those cycles. So now I'm breaking a cycle and by me breaking a cycle, it's also allowing an older generation not to solidify within that cycle. Do you understand where I'm going with that? Um, like I said, when I'm here, I get very connected. Um, <laughs> but I just, I just hope you're all kind of understanding this message. And it's just a short part two of my last previous video. Um, I sometimes like to do these pre-recorded. It allows no interruption through the live feed. Of course, I love the live feed and talking to you guys, but don't get me wrong. I will comment below if you have a question or would like to converse about this subject please by all means do so please share this video if you feel this connection as well and please take a moment and and today and the day forward especially now that we're i guess mercury and retrograde starting today i'm not sure i just i i'm fixated on numbers so the 17th is prominent to me like different numbers like that i don't really look at the planets like that but 
I think the time is now. The time is now to understand either the lessons that you have to finish, you, you have to end so you can break cycles, or the cycles that you need to break so you can move forward and allow those other cycles to fully break within your line. So we all have a, we all have something we have to do right now. Whether, whatever generation you may be falling into. Okay? So yeah, I, I hope you all understand where I'm, uh, I'm trying to help you guys see. Uh, and I think that we're gonna get thrown some little tests here and there and, and some moments where you're gonna totally be tested about lessons that you should have learned or lessons you think you've learned and you're like, hey, yeah, I learned that. Let's, that's great. But that's what breaking cycles is all about is when that reappears and you realize, oh shit, I didn't learn that. Let me learn this and break that shit because the cycles keep coming when you're not learning those lessons. When even though you feel that you've learned them, you may have, but there's a layer of it that didn't get learned and you need to relearn that lesson so you can break that cycle of unchange. All right, so <clears throat> I hope you all appreciate that tidbit of wisdom and would like to share this video. Uh, but please connect with me if you feel the need, uh, whether it be rune reading or Nordic drum clearing. Uh, be This Saturday, we still have spots available, uh, the Ascension NXT, where me and Ashley are collaborating, doing a, a Valkyrie sound activation, which is going to be wild and insanely amazing. Um, we are going to connect you to the energy of the Valkyries for strength, power through sound, and there's going to be chanting and light language and crystal bowls and drum work and brain sticks. And it's going to be a wild time. So if you haven't gotten your ticket yet, check that event out. Um, and I hope you all have a wonderful Odin's day. And if there's one thing you do today, please, please, please seek some knowledge because Odin is all about that. Seek some adventure. Just go out and find something that is calling you. Answer that call. Break that cycle. Peace, love, and blessings. Bye, guys.